Well, good afternoon, everybody. For those I, have, I haven't met yet, I'm Deacon Chuck Custer. We're here at St. Mary Visitation. I welcome you on this wonderful day. Sacraments are always wonderful community celebrations, so I'm glad we have this nice community here to share in that. It's a blessing for all of us. It's a wonderful day, and so we shall begin. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And so I ask you, what name have you given your child? Jackson. 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 Edward. Edward. Jackson Adon. Adon. Thank you, Jackson Adon. And what do you ask of God's church for Jackson Adon? You have asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you're undertaking? And you, I ask of the godparents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? We are. Jackson Adon, in the Christian community, welcomes you with great joy. Name I claim you for Christ our Savior, the sign of the cross. And now trace the sign of the cross on your forehead and invite your parents to your parents to help you so much. We read from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus came forward and addressed the eleven disciples in these words. For authority has been given to me, both in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to carry out everything I have commanded you, and know that I am with you always, until the end of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, Jackson and Don, this is a beautiful day in your life, you're becoming a child of Christ himself. And after you're baptized, you receive all of his graces. Your parents, who obviously are lovingly bringing you here to be brought up in the faith, and whose trust we put in them. They're going to be responsible for teaching you, and you're going to be a good learner. <coughs> it, is a, it is probably the most important sacrament of your life, at least in the physical so, Oh. But anyway, this is, this is the kind of a day that we can be thankful for, thank our blessings, thank God for our faith. And now our intercessory prayers, my dear brothers and sisters, let's ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on his parents and godparents and on all the baptized. For the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in Christ, give him the life of baptism and welcome him into Holy Church, Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make him your faithful followers and a witness to your gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead him to a holy life, to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. Make the lives of his parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep his family always in your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and Paul, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. A prayer of exorcism and anointing. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan. 
spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child, set him free from original sin, make him a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with him. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 